Meanwhile, following a UN report which says that African states remain fragile and vulnerable to terrorist activities, the African Union is considering the best approach to contain the situation. In an exclusive interview with CCTV's Girum Chala, Dr. Aisha Abdullahi, the Commissioner of Public Affairs of the African Union, said the continent still needs to solve the threat of armed rebels and organized crime using an integrated effort from member states and partners. Thank you, Madam Commissioner. The United Nations Security Council brought out a report that depicts African states as fragile states when it comes to um, exposing themselves for terrorist activities, and, you know, mentioning examples uh, of Mali, uh, the DR Congo, and other places. So, in the African Union side, what do you think is the problem for this one, and what went wrong? in these African states? This is a concern uh, for not only our leaders, but uh, all of us as Africans. That uh, yes, the African continent is rising. Uh, our economy, our growth rates, uh, 10 out of the 20 countries in the world that have the highest growth rates are in Africa. Um, but however, on the negative side, we are having a kind of a resurgence of uh, unconstitutional changes of government. We also have our conflicts that had been there, like the one in the Congo. Uh, we, we have the conflict in Mali that we are contending with. Uh, contended with. We recently have the Central African Republic that everybody is concerned with. And uh, a few areas also on the continent that I experienced some, quite some instability. This has not gone unnoticed by the African Union. Yes, um, the African Union peace and security architecture has been uh, doing quite well, but uh, uh, because of these concerns, the year 2012 was declared the year of shared values because we feel that um, as a continent, as a people, we need to ensure that uh, we do all we could to have peace and stability on the continent. Um, in doing this, we must promote our shared values, um, ensure that we have uh, democracy. Yes, we are increasingly having elections in Africa, but elections are just a tool to usher in democracy. And depending on the way these elections are conducted, uh, they may help in you know, providing a channel for promoting good governance, 